Now that people, thank you for joining us once again on the channel. It is much appreciated and we've got a fancy new desk to work off. We have got a new product kindly sent out to us by Hitmicro and it is the Hitmicro Eco Series Thermal Imaging Camera. So let's open it up and see what's inside. So inside the box we have got, open it up and have a look. Looks like that, a bit of foam protection at the front. You've then got your thermal imaging camera. Just show you that around there. And then what else we've got in the box? We've got a white box. What's inside the white box, you may ask? We've got a charging lead. So it's a USB-C charging lead. That's it. As simple as that. So, thermal imaging camera. Let's have a look around. So you've got your LED screen at the front there, which if we press the power on button, it comes on. We've got a press power button again. We've got the option setting. We can go back off that. We can change the colors. So we've got iron blue, we've got rainbow, hot and white, hot, uh, white's hot, above alarm, black is hot, red hot, fusion, Iron blue. I like iron blue. Not just the drink, but the colour. I work off that one usually. If you come a bit closer, I'll have a look on the screen. So here is the Eco itself. So as you can see on the screen there, we've got our centre point and maximum and minimum. So white dot there is our centre point. Our red dot at the top up there is our maximum and our blue dot there is our minimum. So it's, it's measuring the maximum minimums and exactly in the centre where of uh, the temperature. At the back it has a trigger, which if we press, you can see a little laser on the table there. That is your centre point. By pressing the trigger, you're also gonna take a picture. Once it's confirmed the picture's been taken, it will say capture succeeded. And that's then stored in your album. You can go in there and see that. So that's stored there. You can download that off there onto your computer and send it over to a customer for a quote, which I think is really good um, because sometimes it's hard to explain to a customer how he is moving. And with this, you can show them. So, just show you a few more different colours. So this is the rainbow one, so you can see here that the red is hot, blue is cold. Just look over there, you can see the heat moving and the maximum minimum's moving. So this has a super IR setting. Basically, you turn it on and off by pressing the power button on there. But I recommend leaving it on because it's going to give you a lot clearer picture quality and picture uh, the image will be a lot clearer for when you want to show it on a report for the customer so just as an example if we click on if we go on our album and go down to picture we took here you see so that is your without your super ir and this one is with super high art it's technology powered by hip micro which just basically will give you a lot clearer picture quality and it'll give you more readings so it's a better quality and highly recommend leaving that on so yeah it's one of their main features with the eco so also on the screen you've got time at the top there which is incorrect i need to change that you've got your battery power um hit micro logo your distance so i'm measuring 0.5 meters you can change that in the settings you can go right up to 50 meters um and then we have got our um emissive emiss vita settings uh, which is set at 0.97 and then here in, in we're measuring in celsius so I'll show, show you a few of the settings so you've got your albums at the top there your super ir can be enabled there and miss vitty settings can be changed there distance settings there and you can set your your palette preferences so i've got it on at the moment on rainbow but you can go through there and change your settings that you have so Go back out of there. You've got display settings, which you can just change what's on your display screen. Level and span, which is, let's turn that on, which is just your param uh, parameters. So I recommend to leave that as set uh, as auto. Let's change it back to auto. And then let's go down alarm. So this has an alarm setting, so you can turn that on. Um, if it measures more than, let's say, 55 degrees, it will set an alarm off and let you know that it's gone above 55 degrees. But I don't want that setting on at the moment, so I'm going to turn that back off. Temperature range. So as a domestic engineer, I have mine set at tw minus 20 to 150 Celsius.
But if you're working on commercial and going to high end, uh, high temperatures, you're gonna maybe want it a bit higher, hundred between one hundred and five hundred and fifty Celsius. Or you can put it on auto switch. But for me, as a domestic engineer, the top setting is perfect for myself. You've got more settings here, so there's loads of things you can change if you want to go into more details. The change from Celsius to Fahrenheit in the UK, so we are going to put Celsius. Change the time and date when we get a chance. You can turn your laser on and off, but I like it on. Power Auto power off um, and about settings. So, let's go back. So that's it really. Um, it does calibrate automatically for yourself. So if it does lose calibration, it will calibrate itself, which is really good. I think it's handy to have in your bag and on site and you can show customers, whether it's the direction of flow through a radiator, sludge in the bottom of a radiator. I think it's a good aid and definitely an amazing tool to have in your bag to aid not only yourself, but the customer to give them a visual aspect. It makes your life as an engineer a lot easier. So let's head out on site and see it working in a real life plumbing situation. Right, so we've just turned the heating on now and using the eco, you can see we've got our floor on the left hand side here. The heat is rising, going across and falling and slowly heating up the bottom. I'm hoping that that isn't sludge at the bottom that's formed there. But like I say, I've only had the heating on a couple of minutes, so we'll, uh, we'll see how we get on with that. If it is a case where we have detected sludge with the thermal imaging camera there, I'm going to suggest to the customer that we do a bit of a flush on the system. This is great for showing the customer a visual aid of sludge because it can sometimes be hard to explain to them and make them understand what exactly is going on inside their radiator. Got another radiator here, which we've got our floor coming up the right hand side, going across and spreading the heat like so. So to conclude from our little test there, there is no sludge in the bottom of this radiator. So that's a good thing. So these are great for like say detecting sludge in radiators, but they're also good for detecting uh, possible leaks. Customers mentioned that they have had pressure drops every now and then on the system. So they said we would have a quick look around and just below here. You just see we've got a bit of a weird looking spot there. I'll change the rainbow section. Maybe just a pipe work running across there, but we seem to have a warm patch under the floor. So I can show the customer this and suggest that we take a patch of the floor up and have a look and make sure there's no no leak under the floor there. So they're great for detecting leaks on hot water and also on central heating pipes. So you can see it there, but it's further out. This is the rainbow setting with a green cold and red is hot. So you can see it's moving through the radiator. Get a bit closer. I'm meant to be only 0.5 meters away, so roughly about there. Again, 49 maximum. Center is a 48. And then right at the bottom, we may have a little bit of sludge to be honest at the bottom of there. Right, it's only right at the bottom. I'm going to suggest to the customer with this one that we do put a cleaner through the system. Not a power flush, but just give it a good clean out and we'll just agitate the the uh, bobs of the radiator to uh, try it, get rid of any sludge that is holding on at the bottom. Right, so lastly, this is the Hick Micro Analyzer PC software. This is only available on PC and Microsoft at the moment, but it could possibly be coming on Mac later down the line. But we'll hold on and I'll let you know about that. So basically, this is a software that you can link with your device by just plugging it into your PC. It will drag across the pictures onto the software and you can analyze them basically. Using the top the tools at the top, you can select different bits of the image and you can measure different temperatures. On there, it's going to pull over all the measurements you've took on from the picture, all the image information and also all the parameters. It also, if you did want to change the color of the picture, it's not too late, you can do it in the software. You can just click this button at the top and you can change the color, just like you do on the device itself. 
So on the top right hand corner, you can see there is a report button. So if you click that, it's gonna generate a report. And I think this is great if you're in a special commercial side and use it on a commercial property, you can then generate a report, send it over to the company or the customer, and that way they have a visual aid to see what you have found on your investigations. This software is 100% completely free. There is no subscriptions, unlike some other competitors on the market. If you have got any questions about the device or the software, don't hesitate to drop a question in the comments below. I will put a link to the PC software and all Hick Micro's websites in the descriptions below. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit notification bell, and thank you Hick Micro for sending me out this product. I'll see you all again sometime in the future.